5050 dual language program at ISV is that we have a mixture of students language within each class so we try to have 50% English, 50% Chinese speakers. Um, the children are divided between myself and the Chinese class 50% of the time within the six day cycle um, and in that way they have equal exposure to both languages. I think the cool part about the 50-50 is uh, all the kids have opportunities to be a teacher, the student teacher, in either classroom. For example, in the Chinese classroom, the, my native Chinese speaker kids, and then they can provide help to the native, uh, to provide help to the non-native Chinese speakers. There were three main um, overarching goals. Uh, they're often referred to as the three pillars of dual language. Uh, the first one is um, having our students become bilingual and biliterate. So what that means, um, there are many of us that are on the continuum um, as bilinguals. Um, in a dual language program, like the one that we have here at ISB, um, it's not just about the students being able to speak and understand in Chinese and English. We take it to a deeper level, which is biliteracy. Um, that means that the students are able to read, write, translate, use one language as a support for the other language, which is not what happens um, in traditional um, bilingual programs, so it goes deeper. Um, the second goal is really getting our kids to be um, high academic achieving students in both program languages. Again, that's also different because usually in a bilingual program or in a foreign language course, um, you're not engaging um, with content in math, science, social studies, the arts, um, in both languages. At ISB, the kids get to really maneuver um, their academics in both languages equally. Um, so that's very, very different. And then the last pillar really focuses on sociocultural competence, which I personally think as a researcher and as a practitioner is um, really so very important especially in today's times because we want our kids to be global citizens. That means that through the coursework and really focusing on the other two pillars, the students are able to strengthen their ability to be global citizens um, and see each other's similarities and differences, but seeing the differences as opportunities to connect rather than obstacles to overcome. And, and that's rare um, and not something that's offered in, um, in any other educational program besides uh, a dual language program. At the Center for Applied Linguistics, we do support programs all over the globe, but I can tell you that specifically here in Beijing, the only program that is truly aligning with the three pillars of dual language and all of the latest research is um, International School of Beijing.